welcome back to another Midland Mainline live stream. We are on the Xbox Series X this evening or this afternoon. Uh, and we're going to do, I don't know actually what we're going to do for this stream. We're going to drive on the Midland Mainline. That is really the only plan there is. So we'll probably go on the 43, go on the 158. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to do whatever. Um, anyway, let's see what we have got in the chat. We've got Richard, Crashy, Yorkshire. Uh, Joseph, uh, Davidoff, uh, Zavia, Sunny Home Barcelona, lovely. Uh, Hammer Time, uh, Para, how is everybody doing? Welcome, welcome in. Um, let's get the train set up. Uh, we are in the high speed train, the HST. Uh, should we set that to uh, that? There we go. Uh, get that on. AWS over here. Uh, headlights of the day, instros, let's just get them on, uh, maybe a little bit more, that should be alright, cool, echo, echo, <laughs> hello Chris, how are you, look at that, there it is, right we are going to do a little bit of horn, ready, we're doing a horn test, there you go, just to make sure the horn's alright, There'll be plenty more horn tests along the way. And this one's a slow one, so we stop at Loughborough, East Midlands Parkway, and then to Nottingham. So we're due to Nottingham in about half an hour's time. So nice, nice run on this route. Let's pop that down. And I think we're good to go. The brakes are slowly releasing. So we will have to wait for them to sort of fully come off. If we can start getting a little bit of power. No, you don't want to... Okay. Um... Okay, they're just taking forever to, uh, to charge. There we go. Hmm, okay. Oh. Right then. Good to hear, Chris. So keep an eye on the brakes. A bit. Look at that. That should be all good. Now, right. Let's let's try now. There we go. Eleven miles to left, bro. There you go, the 8.31, so 8.30 serves out of uh, uh, Leicester. The brakes an initial. There's a 37. Hello, exploring all UK stations. Can you still spot diesel locos if I go to the UK this summer? Should be able to. So at some point, hopefully with sort of next week or so, we'll be able to drive like this on this route. It's not, I mean, there's not many stations on here, and we know all the names of them now. Uh, so it's sort of just sort of learning where they are and the speed limits. Oh, I see. But out on this route after you speed up. Hello, Ben. How are you? Welcome in. Max speed 125 miles an hour. We're on our way. What other camera views do you get in the cab? Okay, just that one. That's quite cool seeing the gauges from uh, this side. Yeah, back to there. You hoping to get this soon? Nice exploring. Uh, we'll get that off as well as a control four. There you go, we're gonna down. Uh, the road tour of the 45 was great. Enjoyed. Yes, the double peak service. It's quite cool. Can you do the livery editor on the GWR HST? It was just mid. I think it's just mid the main line at the moment. So I probably should get a couple of liveries to to give it give a go of. Speeding along. Uh, 
So quite a long gap to Loughborough, and then from Loughborough up to the rest of the way, it's, it's I suppose not as lengthy. I think from Loughborough to EMP, it's about uh, what four or five miles, and after that, they're all close together. Oh my good Oscar, how have you been? Loving uh, the few dark bugs, but it's very enjoyable. Oh my good Oscar, how are you? As we uh, zoom along. So yeah, we'll do a run in the HST, probably go on the 158. Um, yeah, don't really know yet. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do things. Up to 110 miles an hour. Was it 105? I think it, yeah, I think it is 110. Well, that more that's at the markers than 105. I suppose it probably is on. Yeah, it probably is on. One at one ten. Uh, just got off work for an hour or so ago. Lovely. We've got that one twenty coming up. Hello, mostly harmless. Welcome in. Welcome back to uh, the HST. There's a uh, Sistin station there. So it's Sil Silby next, yeah, Silby. And then Barrow upon Saw, and then Loughborough. Which not all services do stop at Loughborough in the HST. It seems like it, most of the HST services we've done are the, are the slow ones. Um, but yeah, most of them do, I think, skip uh, Loughborough out. I think even some skip EMP, East Midlands Parkway. Hello, Neil, how are you? How are you getting on with the route on the, uh, on the computer? It does have here, yeah, and we are on 4K mode again now. So I'm just going to double check where we are, because HD mode was horrible. Uh, I don't actually think it would have made much of a difference, but it did. Uh, yeah, we're all good. I suppose even if you don't have a 4K TV, just stick it on 4K. <laughs> so much nicer. We've got a 110 coming up near Silby. Is that a 158? It is. Hello, Michael. How are you? Um, we'll get David off. Does the guard panel work on the 158? Just about. <laughs> Fair enough, Oscar. Get to see the nice fast trains going by as well. Goodbye, 158. There's uh, a yeah, Silby station. That tiny little station, so that's on the right there. It does make a big difference, yeah. You're doing your first look. Oh, oh nice. Um, that bit of this is the only stream, probably. Getting along with this route, nice. Four and a half miles to Loughborough. So it does come down fairly quick at this speed. Just got to be careful of the TPWS issue coming into Nottingham, which I think does affect the um, Xbox. This is Mount Sorrel. Yeah, Mount Sorrel, I think this area is called. There's no station here, but it's just the um, this area here. A little industrial area, Mount Sorrel. over a mile. Yes, DSD. Remember, if you're on console, do not play with the DSD on because you can't acknowledge the DSD uh, at the moment with the controller, unless you plug in the keyboard. So, yeah, don't do that. Uh, when you come into Nottingham, uh, mostly harmless, the TPWS trips for no reason. Not so much wants to get behind the chair. Come on. What are you doing? Come on, get on the chair. There you go. She's, she's behind the chair. 
Oh, I hope not SNCF. <laughs> I didn't know. And also, when you're on the up fast line uh, near Mount Sorrel on the PlayStation, there's a TPWS issue. Hello, Richie. Ooh, look at that double green light. How you doing, Richie? Morning. Have you just woken up? Uh, you had a TPWS trip outside Derby yesterday for some reason. Right, let's start slowing down. We don't want to whiz through Loughborough, that wouldn't be uh, great. Yeah, that's what we were doing at SNC. It was a bit weird. It was, uh, yeah, odd that. Ooh, that feels a bit quick, doesn't it? I left that a bit too late. No, we should be alright. Just looks much closer than it actually is. Hello, Dan. How are you? Although, well, full service on this isn't really powerful, powerful. Working out from home nights. Are we really. Uh, no, come on. Release the bloody brakes. They release much slower, it seems, than the uh, Great Western ones, which is you release straight away. Oh yes, power. I really has screwed us over there. Oh wow, okay. Well, the brakes work on the HST. Wow, they really do work. Yeah, they're not quick at releasing. Let's, let's power it up. Hello Mick, how are you? Oh, see she? Oh, now we move forward. Okay, so yeah, just be cautious on the brakes, because they don't release very quickly. <laughs> yes, sir, uh, Hamish, yeah. As we come into Loughborough, can you shout out, please? Hello, Gamer Art Channel. Is that good? I always seem to arrive at the same time as the HSTs on this one. And to shoot, yeah. I underestimated the braking power. And also how long it took the brakes to release. Seems to be different from, well, way different uh, physics to the uh, Great Western one. Which is good. Ah, we'll do. Hey, good to make. I'm all right. There's no stop marker anyway. Right there. Little horn test. Get it down. I'm all right. Nope. Like that. Are they going to fix the DSD? I mean, I'd, I'd hope so. Going up front. That's EMP next. But yeah, every coach is coach A. EMT run out of B stickers and C stickers, so they just put A on each one, on every one. Bit unusual in real life. Oh, oh I like that the way they pose at different times. Uh. Right, let's go. That's quite a nice shot, actually. I mean, apart from the insert of lights being, uh, being on, but that actually looks quite nice. Look at that. The models are really nice. Um, find it for the next charity stream. Hello, BVG. How are you? Oh, that was good. Oh, they're both uh, sprinters, power. Yeah, they're both sprinters, so I suppose they are similar in a way. Hello, Laser Jet. Welcome in. Six miles to East Midlands Parkway. Uh, well, the, the, the brakes are good, power, but yeah, it seems they do take quite a while to release. So just don't put it in full service. There is there fast, yeah. Mostly small things.
Hopefully, Joseph. Probably just hasn't been binded um, to the button. Uh, but yeah, if you are on the PlayStation version, good luck on the upfast at Mount Sorrel because you will get a emergency brake application. Nice power. No, is it not? We'll have to have a look at that, Rob. That'd be weird if you couldn't, though. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll be able to go. Driving the 158 in the snow is a challenge. Only done summer so far and autumn for the uh, steam train we did, steam rail tour. See, looking at these rivers, I can't help but just think of the uh, Nidertal barn. Or the rivers on there, or the little rivers on there, with sort of, um, you know, reeds and sort of vegetation and foliage in the river. Makes these ones, makes the ones on here look very simple. So we're chosen. <laughs> Maybe Zavia. Good luck to him. Four and a half miles, do that 48 pass. There's 125 here. Well, it does seem to come down to 110 quite a, quite quite a bit. It's only a short bit of 125. So on here, I think it's mostly 110. Still, be very quick. Let's get a flyby shot. On we go, and we'll watch it whizzing by. Miles. You have to get the Nidertal barn soon. A very scenic route, good for my. Yes, it's a very relaxing route. So we're in the shadow of a cloud at the moment. There's another HST. There's no line side fences along this bit though, so any, any, any old bugger can walk onto the track. Okay, there is some there, but I don't know, that was just some sort of field there. There's no. No line side fences. Well, it's in some spots, so there's some up there. Two miles. To a local airport, nice Oscar. So we'll start slow. What is sort of the recommended? Braking distance in the HST. I mean, the brakes are okay. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. Because a mile seemed a bit too close. So if we start coming down about now, sticking free, maybe a bit more than that actually. No, that should be alright. I think in free. Yeah, let's keep it in free. Maybe back to two. So just over a mile. See the power station there. So I suppose that would sort of be your marker to when you're coming up to East Midlands Parkway. Maybe stick it to four, but then sort of take off the brakes a bit sooner. So if I start taking them off maybe now. That's because those brakes take so long to release. Tony, so have you got your timetable stations you've been to and are going to? It's right here. Nottingham after this. There we are, East Midlands Parkway. I'll get you on the moon. A little bit more, seems to be a bit shorter here, the platform. Let's keep it between initial and one, initial one, two. As we uh, come to a stop, nice and smooth. Uh, yes, East Midlands trains this one, but yes, they do run for, 
Well, I think it's the 159s for... No, don't stop now. I think it's the 159s for South Western Railway, isn't it? Well, it says there, so we'll stop it. Hello, <laughs> Oscar. Yeah, it does sound it. Yeah, it does come out of nowhere. Oh, we're on time. The 158 is from South Western Railways. No, it's the East Midlands Trains 158. But yeah, South Western Railway, that's 159s, isn't it? Unless they do have some 158s. Basically the same train. The livery is quite nice. Not the best livery to grace the HST, but it is nice. I thought that was uh, Radlett Power Station, isn't it? Radlett, not your Radlett. Have one five eight. It is quite nice, Richie. Yeah. Uh... Right, let's get the doors shut, and then we shall be off. Starts releasing and whack that on seven miles or so to Nottingham. We're due there in ten minutes. That'd be awesome, Captain. Hey, <laughs> you want it back? Yeah, Radcliffe Pass, not Radcliffe Pass. Radcliffe. That's what. I, that's what I was uh, on about. Have you ever been on the XPT, Oscar? Nice, Richie. Radcliffe Town, not Radcliffe, yeah. Then I said Radlin, Radcliffe Town Station. Into the Red Hill Tunnels. Like the Trans Pennines, are yeah, fair enough. Yeah, we terminate Nottingham. Now maybe we'll take the 158 over to uh, Derby from there. We'll do Captain Jack. Don't you worry. This looks really quite low, doesn't it? Ooh, that's close. Uh, I didn't, David. So feel free to copy and paste. But is it me or are the speed boards different on this route? They just seem like they they're different, different design to uh, other UK routes. Oh, what's that for? Drive any. It comes up on my PC as well. Drive any locomotive for 500 miles. Nice. Hey, doing, Jason? See if the new EMR livery is there. On mods, it probably is. Don't know if it would be allowed, but I'm sure someone's uploaded one. Need to get some liveries myself for the uh, try and get the Midland Pullman one. That would be quite a cool one to do. I mean, that would be perfect. Midland Pullman, Midland Mainline. Oh, I see Oscar. Um, we got Jackie Dory. Right? Yeah, Trans Pennine's a really good route. So it's uh, Attenborough and then Beeston and then uh, then Nottingham. Yeah, there is. Um, just before the, I think we might have just gone past it actually. How you doing, Double G? Oh, there you go. Some of that. Hello, Dean. How are you? Oh, it's gone green now. Um, 
208 Davidoff, that's one isn't it? Get close and personal. Let's get a fly by shot through uh, through Beeston. No, through Attenborough. I always get mixed up with these two. Hey Swampy, how are you? Hello Thomas, how are you? I think it probably is supposed to be a normal whistleboard. It does have a red outline, which is weird. And that's just a little quirky thing with this route. Yeah, I feel like this is the perfect route to do extensions on. Uh, like we've seen, I suppose, with the Train Sim Classic version, the Just Trains have just kept on extending, extending, extending it. I think this would be a really good route to build off of. Because, I mean, if they did like a separate Derby to Sheffield route, it would be a bit weird, wouldn't it, if it wasn't attached to this one and set in 2019. So, yeah, I feel, I feel this route would be perfect for extensions. Sort of, yeah, right in the middle of the Midland Main Line. Well, ish. You for the HT and GWR green? Fair enough. Yeah, I'm all good, Dean. Did you see the footbridge? You have the Hornby Midlands HST train set. What, the, the mid, the, uh, the blue one? The Midland HST. Not really too sure why why they're on. They wouldn't be on, would they? The the calling on signal. That shouldn't be on, should it? When the main signal's um showing something. Hello Bonker, how are you? Oh, why are we slowing down? We have got a four week coming up, I suppose. <laughs> so fair enough, let's go. Uh, back down your way, and you'll say, oh, for Pete, for Pete Shake this time, eh? You wish they extended it to St Pancras. That's quite a way away. Chat the platform. Uh, if you had to extend this route, then definitely Derby to Sheffield. Yeah, definitely through the northern bit, wouldn't it? From... Uh, is it, yeah, here up to Sheffield and here up to Sheffield. Sort of complete the loop. Up through Chesterfield. Now you can see a bonk on, we'll go, and Ambergate as well. Well, Ambergate would be on the Derwent Valley line. Which the Peak Forest, the next steam route on uh, Trains in World, is actually fairly close to this route. It's 10 miles north of Derby. That's where it's going to be um, starting, or one of the starting points or end points, however you look at it, start or end. That's going to be quite a bit on the move, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> quite a bit. The Blunt to Richard from Bedford also to Corby. That would be quite a bit. Uh, not yet, uh, Dan, no, not yet. I'll let Smudge out after this. She's annoying. She's looking at me like meowing, like, oi. Let me out. <laughs> so I'll let her in a sec. Nice car. Must be quite an expensive set. The uh, Midland HST. And popping that down. Down to 40. I'm probably going to get the TPWS issue here, although I don't think you can actually disable the TPWS. You have got the AWS, but... Um, hmm. Unless we hold that down, I'll press that quickly as well. Wait. We might be okay. I think it's on this one here. So you might get the brakes coming in on a second. In fact, if we come down below 15, we should be alright, shouldn't we? Oh no, has it done it? No, I think we're alright. Bit of whack, just to 
keep us going. Yeah, I tried that, so I'll have to give it a go. Would I recommend it? Um, well, if you can stand a few bugs, then yeah. I won't say at the moment it's not a bad route, but then it's not a great route. So it's in the middle. So hopefully I can get those fixes done, get everything sort of, well, I suppose how it should be, and then it will be a, a good one. Well, it's quite a way to Sheffield. I think it's like another sort of 20, 25 miles, I think, to Sheffield. That's quite a bit, you know, more. It's scenic, right? And here we are, coming into Nottingham. I think this is a Terminator as well. well I think my, all of the HSTs terminate here, I think, or most of them. Why are routes so overpriced? Uh, well... Not really. I mean, yeah, I know they were twenty four ninety nine, and now they're twenty nine ninety nine. But I suppose the reason for that is in inflation. I mean, twenty five pounds isn't as much as you know what it was worth five, ten years ago. This seems like a new platform. When was this one built? Is it worse than Edinburgh Glasgow when that first came out? Um, probably on par with that. Like, yeah, you didn't have stop markers. You had the weird audio issues in, in the train. So that's probably on the same level. Uh, well, we'll drive the 158 next. Oh, nice, Jake. All right, are you not that bit off? Cross City is fantastic. Quite nice where you can sort of terminate here, then take it back. I wonder if this one actually does go back. Uh, let's uh, set that to that. Oh, okay. Oh, how? When does this go back? 9.43? Okay, so it does sit here for a little while then. It doesn't just go back straight away. Um, there we go, we do that. Let's get the tail lights on. We'll have a little stroll and see when the next one is heading out towards um, Derby. Yeah, let's get them off as well. I'll let the cat out as well. Right, let me quickly go and let out Smudge. I suppose she's going to be rattling on at us. Hold on. Cat is going out. Uh, we're building up the new cottage in the centre of Nottingham. Nice. The cat is, has been let out. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll have a little wander. See when the next one's coming in from uh, Newark Castle. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just see how it's... Uh, Oh, let's get oh, let's get that back up. Hey, there's Pete. How you doing, Pete? I don't know how it's on. I don't know how it is on the PC version, Pete. It might be all right on there. Well, he's might be a few less bugs. Yeah, the trains and well, the trains and the modelling is uh, well, model of the trains are fantastic. It's just these yeah scenery issues, I suppose. That's sort of one of the main things. Signals, scenery. I suppose TPWS could come under as sort of signals and stuff. Well, let's, let's head over, let's have a look. Uh, the McDonald's one here, away. Uh, right, well, yeah, when's the next one leaving towards uh, Matlock? Yeah, the Matlock, the Matlock to Newark Castle. But we are missing services, apparently. Apparently, we're missing the Liverpool services. Not sure why, but let's see, 10, 12, oh, we're not going to wait that long. Well, this is one at 9.20, but that's still quite a way. Let's, um, let's pop out 
and we'll uh, go and have one. How's the work? It's quite nice. Yeah, it's uh, it is nice uh, here. There's an all rail on the route is live for the potential future expansions. Anyone wish to do it? Nice. Uh, right, let's um, right to the trains. Um, let's see, pick a route, mid the main line. Uh, no, not that one. One five eight, uh, and we're gonna go in. Let's see. Let's let's do a, a sort of evening run. Uh, Nottingham to Derby. Uh, we'll do uh, we'll do May. Uh, dynamic weather. And there we go. Is this route out now? Yes. Hello, Connor. Apparently not round, no. Oh, let's listen to it. Well, that's fine, we're in this one now. Let's do that. Uh, set that to that. Do that. And we'll get this on as well. Look at that. There's the uh, HST over there. Well, here we are, um, now in the Express Sprinter. And we're, well, we should be calling at, let's think, uh, Beeston, Attenborough, Long Eaton. I don't know, do many services stop at Spondon? Are we stopping at Spondon? No, we're not, so we yeah, just, just those ones. Uh, TSW 2 and 3 has helped me to overcome the fact Messi left Barcelona. It's therapeutic for sad football fans. Well, I suppose that's a, that's yeah, that's a good good thing for TSW. Let's get the uh, doors shut. Uh, that's fine. Uh, right. Let's get going. We'll do the guard buzzer as well. Which it's not hot. Isn't there's not a hot key for? I'm pressing B. It doesn't do anything. Please add the key bind for that. Uh, so let's do. Pretend the, pretend the guard's already done it to us. Right. Unless it's a different key bind. But usually it's B or C. Let's go. Hello, London buses. Oh, wow, Callum. Yeah, we're stopping at Beeston. Can the 158 be coupled? I've not done it. Well, I've not tried coupling it yet, and I haven't seen any four coach services. So, I don't have an answer for that, but I'll throw that question into chat. Can the 158 be coupled? Has anyone experimented with it? There we go, out we go. Yeah, everyone has their uh, opinions there fast. Because, you know, I wouldn't say it's perfect. Uh, no, it's not, not, it definitely not perfect. As I said, it's it's not bad, but it's not, you know, it's not great. Hello, Shelly, how are you? Can't make your mind up, so now it's a forecast. Well, there we go, so you, you do a four coach trains in the scenario. Should be four car sets. That would be Sheffield, wouldn't it, Dean? That would be uh, that. That would be nice to see. I oh, know, Perry. You don't. You don't have to. You don't have to press the signal button. You, you can ignore that if you want. <laughs> but no, you don't have to press it. Maybe ramp. Uh, the lights don't flash. Are there any other door buttons in the cab? Uh, no, because yeah, the guard controls. I mean, you get the little door indicator there. Doors released when lit, uh, and that is that's it. Yeah, coach lighting there, but no, nothing to do with doors. It's up there. So it's all vigilance there. Vigilance isolation isolated. We want that normal, don't we? Yeah, normal. 
be about right. Yeah, some other releases, P, I suppose. A few less. Fair enough to fast. Yeah, it's just something extra power. It would be nice to see that implemented, though, especially for this train, as the guard does operate the doors. Um, just so know, maybe they could link it so when the doors shut, you just hear the ding ding. And then you do the ding ding, but we don't have to do ding ding back, but. That would be cool. <laughs> Run a scenario on Northern Trans Panel. This is that's not a bad idea. Not bad at all. I might actually do that. I'll wait for a um scenario Creators Club then. Oh, that's good then, Mark. Nice and engaging and active then. You're on the edge about buying this one, it's your local route that looks very buggy. The Spanish McDonald's? Is there anything... Oh, you'd love to see a Spanish... Is there anything different on the menu? Zavia? What's different? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fantastic? Mostly harmless. And it would just be better. Safer as well, I'd imagine. Uh, you got this yesterday, but the HST hasn't come with it. You've only got the 158. Would you've only got the 158, and you should have the HST. If you've got the route, then you should have the HST. Um, unless you're doing journey mode, maybe the first chapter on there's the 158. Uh, but yeah, you should have the HST because it would have downloaded with the route. And if you don't, um, <laughs> I suppose contact Dovetail because I'm not sure, but. Yeah, you should have the HST with it. Unless you've got a different DLC. It hasn't the Spanish McDonald's has no breakfast. Oh wow. As Spanish beer. Hmm. Well there is no stop marker here, so it's, I suppose just although there is a there is a four coach stop marker, but there's no two coach stop marker. Well we'll, we'll stop on that. It's something to go off. So let's come to a stop here. There we go. Hello, William. And we wait. And then Attenborough, which is like a mile or so down, down there. I think on the TSC version, you can actually see Attenborough. Obviously, as the render distance a bit lower on this game, you, you can't. Hello, right, unexpected goose. It is the Midland Main Line. Uh, we're not sure. If you haven't got the HST, try a reinstall. Make sure your game's fully updated. Make sure, Just make sure everything is fully updated. But I'd be very surprised if, yeah, it didn't have it. Now, let's see us go. Right, let's go. So it's notch four up to 10 miles an hour, and then above 10 miles an hour you do, well, full whack. So let's get that up. And there you go, notch seven now. Nice, Pete. What's been your favourite train so far to drive? Oh, and your favourite sort of journey as well. As I suppose that is a good thing about this route. It's not just, you know, the, the sort of usual A to B, you know. Uh, I'm trying to think of an example. Well, you know, just routes which have one place to the other, that's it. It's quite nice because on here you've got sort of A to B, then you can maybe go B to C. Because it's, a, you know, you've got a nice sort of service pattern. Well, there's the route shape there. So you've got three destinations you can go to, which is nice. Adds a, a bit more variety to the services you can do. 
Does the guard panel work? It does. Just, just about. Oh, your station's on it. Oh, lovely. Okay, cool. It's not three to. Well, someone told me yesterday it was notch ten till. No, not notch ten. Wow, that would be. Uh, <laughs> that'd be overkill. Um, notch four until ten, and then after ten, it's then up to seven. And that's from Jason PFC. Let's join all the root variations. Yeah, that, that is a good thing about it. Yeah, you could do. I suppose you could do like a full rounder, couldn't you? You could do uh, Leicester up to Derby, Derby across to Nottingham, and then Nottingham back down to Leicester. Should be quite a nice little uh, triangle-ish to do. Yeah, the sounds the sounds are a strong point. And apparently real HST drivers have approved of the sounds as well. So if they're happy, I'm happy. So I don't know the HST that well in real life. Here we are. There's another express sprinter coming in, a 158. Looks like it's getting a bit foggy. Not surprised. I should have done custom weather. Yeah, foggy and cloudy. It'll probably start raining soon. And yeah, you have got the um, the PIS as well on the outside, and of course you've got CIS. Or do you not at this station? Well, maybe not. Maybe maybe at this station there's not a uh, a dot matrix display, but most of them you have got CIS as well. And yeah, PIS inside the trains, which you can just about see. This is Beeston, just there. Right, Long Eaton next. Oh, hang on, I've just realised something. No, it's got our head code on there. Was that was that on there at the start? Yeah, we have we have got our head code there. That wasn't like that yesterday, was it? Well, there's the head code. Ah, oh, although yesterday we actually we spawned in on. No, 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 because we. Well, I don't know. Well, the head code's showing up for this one. No, oh, I can't to full power. We could, Richie, yeah. Nice bit of potential. Although what we do... What, what would be nice to see is another third rail route. It's been absolutely ages since a third rail route. Like a proper third rail route. All of White 2022 doesn't, doesn't really count. Because I know the community absolutely loves third rail routes. Hello, sir. Welcome in. How are you? Uh, some of the fear I think 158 could be used there for TFW. That would be, yeah, that could do. They, quite, they look quite nice in that livery. Fog time. Yeah, you do that, isn't it? Third rail. People seem to dislike third rail. Unbelievable. Hello, Krazer. Although, yeah, South Western would be nice. BML is still the best route, in your opinion. BML is absolutely fantastic. And if you're a Steam player, you've got, you've got the um, Best of British bundle now. And, of course, the BML's on there. Um, which, uh, yeah, I suppose well, the best British routes in the game are on there. Or at least, I suppose, in the eyes of the community, I would have to tell. It's not a very long route. There's no one-hour services. Um, well, no, there's no one-hour services. It's just little short hops, I suppose. But it's not just A to B. You've got up to Derby, Nottingham, Leicester. So there's a bit more to do. Hello, I welcome in. Uh, your area is diesel trains. So you like diesel trains if you live in third? Yeah, exactly that, Callum. You just like what you're used to, I suppose. 
So third row, I live in third row territory, I like third row. If you live up north, you'll probably like overhead electrics. And if you live very far north, you'll probably like diesel. Southeastern is good, yes. Yeah. Southeastern is good. Well, I do hope we do see updates to the BML at some point. TSW three updates, DLC for it. I mean, that could probably easily take over Southeastern, couldn't it? We'll have a seven hundred on there, four five five. Fair enough, mostly harmless. Fair enough. Neater and tidier. We like diesels. Fair enough, CO. We've got to come down to. Well, not 10 just yet. Hello, Pivers. It's alright, innit? Have you picked it up yet, Pivers? Well, obviously, do be careful if you are on the PlayStation. It might crash. Is that Chinley on there? Oh yeah, Chinley on there. Which Chinley is going to be coming to uh, um, Train Sim World of Peak Forest. No, Pivers. No, no, no. You live in Diesel Territory, nice. UK only. Right, coming up to the 10. Nice Callum. That's quite a slow junction this one. What is the name of this junction? Someone will know. What is the name of this junction? Alright, Pivers. Some people have been having crashes as well. It's just not consistent. So some people, so it's, it's like the BML. I had sort of well near enough zero crashes on there, but then others were having tons. What is Peak Forest? It's the next Steam Steamy DLC. It's uh, Ambergate to Buxton and Chinley. Uh, the Derby branch, I think, or the Nottingham branch. Well, we just went over it there. Yeah, just, just there. So I suppose Long Eaton. Ish. Nice loop. There's no release date for Peak Forest yet, although the trophies have been spotted on PlayStation. Which usually means it's not that far away. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. No, oh, nice on the move. UK routes are the best, and you're not the UK that thinks German are better, but he is wrong. Yeah, hopefully at some point it gets an update, Pete. It's in... It well deserves an update. But hopefully we can see it sort of uh, with the new fancy TSW3 things in future. Yeah, not long until Tram Sim console. Because that's the next uh, thing to release. A little bit quick into there. It felt a little bit quick. Well, that seems to be right to the end here. And that's what it's saying. Alright, Pete. And here we are. Quite close to a train station. There you go. Uh, Peak Forest is passenger and freight, I think. Yeah, passenger and freight. Don't know what what's sort of more on there. Probably more passenger. But I'm looking forward to Peak Forest. I think it's quite hilly as well. So it'll be quite a bit of a challenge. Especially in something like the 4F. Which isn't as powerful as other steam engines. Oh wow, Zarbia. 
How long were you over there for? Right, it is Darby next. Should have put it into neutral there. Oh well. And let's go. So yeah, are there any services for stuff like Spondon? I'm sure there are, we just haven't had one yet. A little bit of uh, engine sound there for you. And horn. Which I do like that, the way the... Um, I think that's actually possibly the first time we've seen that. Uh, where when you actually do the horn, you can see the, the air there changing. See that? I like that. So I don't think we've seen that on any other trains. So a 2 Alpha 4 5, that's what the uh, GSMR is saying. 17 years in the US, but glad to be back in Spain, your country. Fair enough. Seven miles to Derby. No, no, actually, I think what we'll do from Derby, we'll do a HST service back to Leicester and then we'll end there because it's like one big triangle we've done then. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that, actually. That's what we're going to do. Man, that was probably Davidoff, uh, GN. So thank Davidoff. And we go, yeah, we'll do that. We'll finish up, finish off with a HST run uh, from Derby to Leicester. And then we've done a full triangle. The volume of the horn changes when you go. Isn't it the same with the 395s, isn't it? When you go over 100, well, when you go over 100 miles an hour, it changes between the triangle. I suppose the fog did uh, the fog did move in and that's disappeared now we're out of that little triangle area. Uh, you did see a class 37 in your area about just before Christmas last year. Nice. <laughs> oh, Pivers, enjoy. Let's get a fly by shot. Let's go ahead and uh, watch it going past. Hello, Ethan. I'm um, alright. How are you? And there you go. David off again. Gifting the membership. Hello, Nacho Cheese Boy. Hello, uh, Tommy has got the membership. That's very nice of you, David. Off. There it goes. No, don't do that. Don't pause. My pause button's stuck in. Oi. There we go. It's better. It's not anymore. And Dovetail Games also do have a new community manager as well. I think his name is Jan. Um, who's going to be sort of, I suppose, the... Almost like Dovetail Games Deutschland. Uh, sort of uh, more the community manager for the, I suppose, German... German audience, because the German audience is massive on CSW. So yeah, Dovetail Games Jan is, uh, I suppose, yeah, the community manager for the German side of things. Uh, we're doing um, Leicester to Nottingham, Nottingham to Derby, which we're doing now, and then Derby back down to Leicester, so a big sort of triangle-ish, in a way. Absolutely flying along. I uh, love you always take some grass flowers. But you got to, Azavia. All the screenshot winners always have a plant in the screenshot. Most of the time. So you got to get some plants in there. And five pounds from Davidoff. Keep working on it. You're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. That's very nice of you, Davidoff. And Davidoff does have his own channel. So uh, do go check him out. 
and I'm sure he'll be doing this route as well. You're going to Germany in January on a Deutsche Bahn train to Innsbruck. Nice Callum. The more leisurely way of getting to Innsbruck, I suppose. And this is Spondin. Here we go. Got an 85 there, well, that came out of nowhere. Got that down. Uh, does the DLC play well on PS5? Runs smoothly. Yeah, runs smoothly. You should get uh, about 60 FPS. So, well, I suppose it's sort of locked at 60 FPS. Yeah, so FPS wise, it runs fine. You might get a slight drop near the Ratcliffe, uh, Ratcliffe power station, um, but that's because it's such a large asset it loads in. But yeah, for the most part it is at 60 for the whole route. Do a tutorial on flyby shot, how to capture a good flyby shot. Hello Super Sprinter, how are you? Uh, you've compared to Crusade and you've lived on both routes. Oh. Down, got double yellow, which I think might, we might need to stop before Derby. Uh, when you get the route you're planning on doing, Derby to Nottingham, Nottingham to Leicester, then Leicester. What a big triangle, then. Fair enough. Has this route got any good landmarks? The Ratcliffe Power Station. It is huge. And apart from that, well, that's wasn't really about it, really. It's yeah, the Ratcliffe Power Station. That's sort of the the main big thing. You've also got the um, I'm not really say it's a landmark, but you've got the uh, Great Central Railway um, bridge, sort of ready to be uh, instated, which is quite nice to see. Have we got a red and a calling on signal on it? I don't know, what was that light behind it? Or was that a calling on signal? Well, it looks like it is. I'm just going to pop back down just in case it's not. But that does look like a calling on signal on there. Oh, okay, well, we can we can do that. And I'll see if it's set. Well, it's allowing us through. Everyone's seen this. That, it, that signal's allowing us through there, so we're going to go through. And it's got. Is that a sideways free? Oh no. Why is it changing? What? What? Okay, right. Through we go. Maybe we're sharing a platform with another train, maybe. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Would you get a calling on signal there? And you got the uh, depot there. Oh, a little few trains in there. And it's quite populated as well. If you've got Tees Valley, you can see a 31 in there as well. I would hope we don't, Spad. You like to see Helensburg to Edinburgh, which is the 334. It takes about two hours to complete. Oh wow, 20 minutes from Glasgow Central to Edinburgh. Oh, an hour and 20 minutes. Should be a yellow. Yeah, we're mostly harmless. I thought it might be because we might be sharing the platform with another train, but it doesn't seem like it. Hello, Hodgeg, how are you? Nice, Richard. You know what, Richard? You should leave the 321 rail tour. Get down south, get on. Watch the 3 on 3 rail tour. Is that on the same day, aren't they? The 321 rail tour and the 3 on 3 rail tour. That's a bit annoying if you want to go on both.
Well, here we are. This is Derby, and I'm hopping the HST and go down to Leicester, which the only train you can go in to get to Leicester from here is the HST. There's no... Well, I don't think there's any 158 services which go down there direct from here. Oh, let's see, Callum. <laughs> TSW Rail Tour. Oh, the frame's pretty poor. We haven't tried it on the PS4, so any PS4 players, how does it run on the PS4? I would imagine probably alright, because it's not a busy route, and there's not really, well, much going on, so it probably should run alright, but yeah, how does it run on PS4? Hello, TAR, how are you? Uh, choose a route, middle and main line, uh, high speed train EMT, and yeah, the ROG services don't work at the moment, so don't do them. Uh, high speed train, uh, let's do 6 plus 2. Now, we'll do, we'll do the long train. Well, that looks like we probably can't. <laughs> oh, can we? No, there's one there. Uh, is that one a bit earlier? Um, can we do like a fast one? Because we always do the stopping one. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, 6 plus 2. That one there. Let's do that one. The 830. We've done the uh, 1 Charlie 2 2 before. So I'm, I'm guessing this probably is a quicker one. So let's try this one. Uh, let's do dynamic weather. I'll set it to July this time. Uh, and let's go in. Oh, I'll see, Callum. <laughs> Maybe Zalvia. Dodgy signaler. Hang on, didn't it say we were going, did I click the wrong one? I must have clicked the wrong one, but it did say Derby, didn't it? Yeah, Derby to Leicester, but, okay, well, we won't do that one. Uh, six plus two, um, let's see, I'm trying, I want to try and find one of the fast ones, unless the ones are all slow ones, uh, in, in the HST from Derby. Um, Derby to Leicester. Not that one. There must be a fast one which skips out more of the stations. It'll be fun to do just going fast the whole way. Mm. Well, let's go. Let's try that one. There, yeah, 21 minutes that one. Wow. I mean, that's got to be fast, surely. <laughs> Let, let's give that one a go. Uh, we'll do dynamic weather. We'll set it to like June since it's light. Let's try that. I don't know. See you, Callum. Uh, we'll be live again tonight. Probably not, no. PS4 Pro runs. Well, there we go. There we go. There we're at Derby. So it'll be interesting to see where we call that. Uh, let's do that. Day headlamps. Get that on. Do that. And we'll get that on as well. There we go. That's good, Ethan. Right, where do we call that? Calling that less... We're fast the whole way. Oh, wow, that's that's pretty good. Uh, fast dinner, I'm watching you. Then off to the church for a meeting. Spring up here, plus 11, not much snow left now. Oh, I see. How you doing, Quebec? Uh, all the routes, uh, PS4 Pro runs well, the routes, but uh, on the commuter. Cool, so this is, yeah, this is, this is a fast service. That's what we got, eight coaches and two power cars. Get the door shut. What's the um, buzzer like on this one? Where is the buzzer? It's over here, isn't it? There we go, right. Set that to forward, that goes off. Oh yeah, the brakes take so long to release. I should have started doing it whilst we were waiting there. Is it slowly building up? Takes a while though. Nice fast run, yeah. The triangle.
Lovely uh, super sprinter. There you go, it's coming down. Okay, it's coming down slowly. And let's go. Sorry, passengers, for the delay, we were slowly getting there. Right, let's go. Sprinter, what roles did you have in those 25 years? I'm guessing a fair few. There you go, nice summer's evening run to Leicester. High speed as well. Can we get a window hand cam? I don't think you can on here, no. I mean, there is no sort of proper hanging out the window cam because there's no window. You can open the door though. Yeah, a bit, a bit more ventilation. Yeah, a bit more ventilation in the cab if you do that. And we'll be able to speed up shortly. Cool. Right, let's go. That's quite a bit of uh, fumes there. Look at that. That's really piping it out. Wow. That's more than usual, isn't it? That's really going for it. That's just quite nice as well. It's quite good. Look at that. Bloody trees. Will be, yeah. That really is going for it. There we go, let's get back in. That was quite nice coming out of there, the, uh, all the fumes going up. Then we go up to 18, we've got to do a queue for that, there we go. See you, Ethan. Thanks for coming in. There's an 80 and up to 100 soon. So where would you start slowing down for Spondon then? If that wasn't too far at all. HST and EMR pub with the front of the power class facing the car. Yeah, I've seen that as well. I looked at that and I was thinking, hang on, how have they managed to couple it up? Um, because you can't, I don't think, has anyone actually found a way to open the coupler hatch? Because, yeah, as Hodgeg said, someone on Creators Club had an image of an EMR power car, and it was the other way round and coupled up to the coaches. But I don't think you can open the coupler hatch. Unless that was done on the Great Western one, maybe it was like a test, maybe. Nice, Quebec. It is nice. Yeah, we'll have to we'll do that. Once we get to Leicester, remind me, and we'll do an engine start-up, because it sounds really nice. <laughs> Soon to half a year. Uh, I was meant to go back as a railroad driver. I took passing my HDV, but mate got me on bins, and now it's a great news of engine's time. Oh, lovely. Very nice, sir. Um, Twenty-two miles to Leicester. It says we we'll get there at twenty-five past, which ain't bad at all. It's a nice run. That's just nice though. I mean, it's a big open window, which for quite a lot of UK stock, you don't get that big open window. Um, so I suppose it's different, isn't it? Hello, quick arm, all right? How are you? But it is nice to run the HST on a different route and, well, with a different engine as well. Instead of the uh, MTU engine. And, of course, AP sounds as well. 
And apparently there's a couple of real HST drivers on the uh, beta program who've said it sounds, well, you know, like the real thing. So if they're saying that, then, well, I believe them. So, yeah, it sounds, sounds good. Hello, Theo. <laughs> nice bit. So the sounds are, well, I'd say pretty good. Nervous and excited for your system for a fair enough, okay? I suppose it would be silly not to be nervous for, for your test, but I'm sure you'll pass it. And you've been having lessons for, well, eight or seven years, so you'll be alright. So I just did do what you did in the lessons, and uh, you'll be alright. The official farming simulator magazine. Well, apparently that Nintendo Switch edition is coming out soon. I saw like a video for that. I don't know how well farming would run on a Nintendo Switch. I mean, it probably is watered down quite a bit. Yeah, hopefully it's the man. It's been good for you. It's been good. I was out and about. It's been all right. I suppose I could go here. I just hopefully it will be on roads you've already gone on, so you sort of know what to do. Uh, is this a non-stop? It is. Yeah, one of I suppose the rare occasions one is non-stop. So awesome. <laughs> nice old check. There's a cross-country livery in the Creatures Club. Nice, Davidoff. We shall give it a go. There's also an intercity one as well, which is really nice. Yeah, it's been alright, Carl. It's been alright. A new modern UK route, so good. Oh, lovely, Dean. Enjoy. Yeah, probably not later tonight, so yeah, I'll see you when I next see you. Thanks for coming in. This is Long Eaton. Oh, we've got 70 coming up as well. Eighty then seventy. What was it? Eighty then one ten, and yeah, then to eighty then now seventy. You've also had a good day. Nice fear. How's the weather down in Torbados? And up to uh, nineteen, and probably fairly soon after that, up to a hundred or so. Uh, this is a service. I've I've not actually done any of the scenarios yet, although they are quite nice lengths, or fifteen, twenty minutes. So I definitely have to give some a go. No, not for this release, exploring. Not for this release. Let's get that up. Uh, you saw a ghost in the Nidal driving a 365. That's a very cool scenario, that one. Positions on this route are fantastically modelled. That's good to hear. Yeah, the models are very nice. Uh, trains, stations. It's just sort of the things within the model, you know, stop markers and stuff like that, which are missing. And this is East Midlands Parkway. That's all good uh, exploring. There you go, whizzing through there. Now it's the sprint down to Leicester. Which is in 12 minutes, and it says we've still got 17 miles. So um, we've got to really get going. Should be doable though. See, this is sort of the Great Western-ish part of the route. It's quite nice. Sort of nice and open, four tracks. You know, you're down, slow, up, slow on the left, and you've got your down, fast and up, fast on this side. And at the moment, we're on the up, fast line. Well, it's, I believe this would be the up, fast, as we're heading towards London. And, well, lines heading towards London are the up line. So we should ideally be on the up, fast. Trying to do it hudless. Well, hopefully in the next couple of days we'll be able to do it. 
Oh, Theo. Unbelievable. Should be sunny all the time. So left for we put uh, left breath we'll be uh, passing through next. Yeah, thanks all for coming in. Uh, obviously, big thanks to Dovetail for giving us the key to uh, to show it off. Uh, with hardly any Derby HST services at 12-ish, it should be based off the real timetable. Although people have noticed that the Liverpool services um, are missing. Um, but yeah, apparently it is based off the real timetable. Two-tone? Yes. But this route is really good when it comes to utilising other routes uh, and different layers. You've got quite a few on here. If you've got the West Cornwall Local and West Cornwall Local Steam Rail Tour pack, you get, I think, four Rail Tour Steam services. Is it three? I think, yeah, three Steam Rail Tour services. Uh, if you've got the um, ROG Euro Phoenix Class 37, uh, you get a whole bunch. I think you get four services with that. Uh, well, what, two services to begin with. Um, but if you then have the Brighton Main Line, you then get another two services. They are broken at the moment, so you can't drive them, but you can look at them. Um, here's Quicko. Yeah, it's slightly distorted on the Xbox. This is an Xbox audio issue. Uh, not so sure, Quebec. Probably Beeston, isn't it? Which is just, I don't know, Attenborough. Or, or Long Eaton, possibly. Uh, and if you've got the Class 66, the RHTT one, uh, you get quite a few services. I think seven Class 66 services. Although for some reason I couldn't get, if you looked at this morning's video, I couldn't get the RHTT sprayers working on here. Um, but it said they were on, but then they weren't spraying. So, not sure. Um, and yeah, if you've got the, if you've got Northern Trans Pennine, you get a couple of class 45 services so it does make good use of uh, of other routes and other DLC however you break <laughs> absolutely flying along this is Loughborough Hello Daniel, how are you? Let's try and whiz ahead of the train. Just about. <laughs> Just about. And spin around. There it goes. Nice. 10 miles to go. 31 months. Wow. Much appreciated Daniel. So that's bonkers amount. Almost, well, uh, yeah, a lot. Almost three years. But much appreciated, uh, Daniel. It's very nice. So we're passing three stations on this bit. You've got Barrow up on Saw, uh, Silby, and Siston, and then Leicester. And what were we going to do? We were going to do something like Leicester. Yeah, I'll turn off the engine and we'll turn it on. And you can hear the engine uh, turn on sound. Uh, off now for the rest of the week. Lovely. See you, Quebec. Thanks for coming in. Oh, we've got a 110 coming up. We'll whack them on. Well, there's no speedboard for it, so I don't know. Almost quicker, yeah, almost. It's getting there. Well, this September it will be, which isn't actually that far now. Madness, isn't it? Absolute madness. It's been that long already. Hello, NG. How are you? Welcome in. And you get Barrow upon Saw. And you've also got Barrow upon Furness. Uh, which is the other barrow, all the way up north. And he's got lots of submarine thingies. 
Uh, you purchased this route this morning when you got home from work. Nice, Daniel. How are you finding it? Fingers crossed TPWS doesn't trip along here. We didn't have an issue before on here on the Xbox. Please don't trip. Yes, I think it's done it. We're all good. Yeah, good to NG, I'm alright. Yeah, if you're on the PlayStation Edition, when you're on the up fast line going down towards Leicester, um, good luck. Well, I suppose you could bring it down to, I think, below 15 miles an hour going through that industrial area there, as otherwise the TPWS will trip you and you'll come to an emergency stop. So is this route going to be electrified at some point? I'm guessing yes. Um, I think they've ele uh, they have a no, they are electrifying this now, aren't they? I think. But how's that coming on? Fair enough, Daniel. But up your way as well, isn't it? Well, thirty odd miles south, thirty forty miles. I think coming up to a red light, isn't it? 15 miles an hour. I think it's 15. Um, so yeah, 15 I think. Well, I think it can vary, can't it? Be 10 at some. No, I think it's 15. Someone will know in chat. Cheers, Alvia. Thanks for coming in. Take care. Enjoy your break and enjoy the bloody sun. I'm jealous. I just used to keep signing you up for no reason. What was it? Not sure, Gregory. What device is that on, Gregory? Is that on? Yeah, what device is that on? Oh. <laughs> it was meant to be electrified about 20 years ago. They've only just got to Corby. Ah. Going up here a little bit here, we've got one in 644, so every 644 metres we travel forward, we're going up by one metre. So not really near that. Well, nearer than some routes. Ah, that's on the move. Yeah, the class 810s are coming onto this route, aren't they? More IETs. It's like a plague. The IET is a plague. It gets everywhere. A boring, bland design. Laptop, uh, yeah, not sure. Unless they've had an update, maybe, and it keeps signing you out because it's doing that. Sure. Got a 90 coming up. As we approach Leicester, and that's sort of a full circuit done off the route. Well, that was good fun. <laughs> I suppose no IET variants in the game yet. I think if we saw the IET in the game, I'd want either the Great Western one or the LNER one. Well, I suppose they are sort of the main ones, aren't they? I think IETs are beautiful. They're never right. But soon they'll be absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Oh, you know, they'll probably have a third rail IET. When is that CTS2? Um, no idea. For those games, it's sort of just one we can be bothered to play them, really. 
you know, sort of trains and train, trains and buses, we sort of just do it lots because we want to, but other games, it's just sort of like, oh, I'm not going to be bothered. Um, <laughs> yes, that was uh, not so nice last night, Daniel. Uh, not today, she's actually, I can hear her scratching at the door, so she really wants to come in, um, so I'll let her in, uh, well, once we've got here. Yeah, it wasn't nice yesterday. Look at that, what a beautiful looking uh, engine. And here we are, this is uh, Leicester. So how many miles is it from Leicester to Bedford? I'm going to guess 50 miles. Because then from Bedford to uh, London it's in about 50 miles. <laughs> oh, I don't know a little, I don't know. It's not really a closed network, so probably wouldn't do one. But yeah, we're trying to do an engine start up here. That's just an that MDS. That wasn't then it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice. It was horrid. Finished out the time table. Oh yeah, you can use the phone to contact the signaler as well. Uh, let's set that to that. And what we'll do is let's get that bloody engine off. It's over here somewhere. Where is it? There. And where's the engine start? There it is. Ready? Might not be fully off yet. Uh... No, Bobby. Wait, let me back in. You think my. Oh, I oh, should actually be coming on now. Hang on. There we go. Oh, that wasn't that exciting. Let's, let's try that again. Let's quickly um, spawn into one and we'll just do an engine start up. Uh, pick a route, mid the main line. 43. Yeah, that one. Uh, that one there. Right, let's quickly. We've got to do an engine start up. But it also has to stop there. Ah, I was 87 miles. Wow. Alright, let's do that again. Engine stop. I think you. Is it neutral to start it? Let's put that back to there. Neutral, engine only, uh, and let's start that. I think that's how you do it on here. I don't think there's much more to it than that. Probably got to wait for it to fully turn off yet. Oh no, there we go. There we go. Um, well, that is going to be it. Hang on, this is footbridge. Lead you out of the station. Well, there you go. If you want to get free tickets, just hop on here. <laughs> um, don't do that. Always buy a ticket. If you don't buy a ticket, very very naughty. Um, but yeah, that is going to be everyone uh, for today's uh, Train Sim World live stream on the Midland Main Line. Um, hopefully everyone has uh, enjoyed that. That was uh, the HST 158 from Skyhook. Um, yeah, not not too bad. I mean, it's it's in, in by, by no means it's a per it's not a perfect route. There are quite a lot of issues, but I mean it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not good. It's in the middle at the moment of the bugs and stuff. So it definitely could be good uh, if those uh, if those bugs were sorted. Um, but yeah, 
Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places. Discord, PayPal, uh, merch store. Leave thanks to Dovetail for giving us a key to show it off. And apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Have a lovely rest of your evening. And hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all and take care. Bye guys.